How much are we protected from toxic spill? What's changed for Europe's citizens since the chemicals disasters at Seveso and Ajka? Well, the number of accidents has decreased, a result partly of the EU Seveso directive. Seveso after the village hit by a chemical spill in 1976. Europe-wide regulations were introduced and have been tightened twice since. Toxic spill is the silent killer that strikes fear in communities living in the shadow of chemicals plants. Era un sabato, eh, a fine produzione, c'era un serbatoio che si era surriscaldato. Eh, il surriscaldamento ha portato all'esplosione di fatto del reattore. It was in the northern Italian village of Seveso where a massive cloud of dioxins was released. Per una decina di giorni addirittura eh, l'incidente è stato nascosto fino a che non si sono osservate delle cose strane, appunto cadute di foglie dagli alberi, morte di animali da cortile e eh, problemi cutanei, soprattutto a carico dei bambini. Thousands of animals, but no humans, perished. A delegation from the European Parliament visited the scene. Six years later, the Cefeso 1 directive was born, tightening controls on chemicals production. Chemicals are a multi-billion euro export industry for EU companies. We need them everywhere. But they're volatile, produced often in high temperature reactions. If the mix combusts, the explosive force can reach more than a thousand kilometers per hour. In 2010, at least nine people were killed when a wave of caustic sludge breached its reservoir and swept through villages in Hungary. The president, Janos Adar, then an MEP, gave an address to Parliament at the time. I think that this is a tragedy that happened in Europe, but I would say that the past 10 years happened, from Spanish, from France, from Belgium, is to be aware of the fact hogy bárhol és bármikor megismétlődhetnek vagy megtörténhetnek ilyen ipari katasztrófák. Ugyanakkor ez a mostani katasztrófa arra is ráirányította a figyelmünket, hogy az Unió fogalmazunk azt gondolom egyértelműen és világosan eszköztelen, igen, eszköztelen az ilyen helyzetek kezelésére. Mr. Ader initiated the upgrade to Seveso and handed the baton to colleagues trying to put citizen safety first in the industry's planning. Normalement, cette directive Seveso doit prévenir l'accident et bien quantifier les substances chimiques qu'il y a à l'intérieur. Vous voyez, le tonnage et la toxicité. Et ensuite, on doit faire des contrôles. Et là, il y a toute une discussion parce que on voulait que sur les très toxiques, il y ait au moins deux contrôles par an. But at the heart of Seveso 3 are new obligations on companies using or producing chemicals to inform the public on emergency planning in the case of accidents. C'est très important d'une part qu'on limite les risques et d'autre part que la population soit informée des risques et surtout la façon dont ils doivent se comporter en cas d'accident. Et le problème c'est que souvent les industriels veulent pas informer. Seveso 3 comes into force in 2015, but although the new regulations increase the number of substances classed as dangerous, some MEPs believe they don't go far enough. We wanted to include some uh, industrial activities that is not uh, included at the moment, for example offshore drilling that we know can cause huge damage to an environment, and we also wanted to include other dangerous substances. Back in Italy, there is dissatisfaction today at the way some companies have been carrying out safety checks since the Seveso accident. Fanno solo una una controllo che è quello del sistema di gestione della sicurezza. Lo fanno in maniera formale, cioè si siedono in ufficio e fanno un'audizione. On the ground, many applaud the tightening of controls, but they argue there are weak links in the chain of implementation. Local administrations under commercial pressure from companies and facing massive spending cuts companies under pressure to turn over profit. Il rischio non si può mai annullare, il problema è superare gli ostacoli che derivano in molti casi dalla dalla riottosità, per esempio degli enti locali di rendere note situazioni di pericolo alla popolazione.